during the story I shall throw some concepts at you which you have to incorporate into the story. Okay. The story is you, let me just get this little music going, the story is you getting up in the morning and deciding to go out and buy a lovely new pair of trousers. Okay, tell me when I'm going to start, when the music starts, yeah? So if you may, Yates. You may start when ready. With this story. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bright and early one Sunday morning, mm -hmm. Sophie was reaching out of her bed, stretching nice and wide. She looked out of the window and a ham salad sandwich was on her shelf. She was wondering that it might have been the window cleaner that was there the other day that had, had their lunch there by the windowsill. And then she went down the stairs and she realised that it was her sister's party the night before. And her mum was having a breakfast, and she's, I saw that her mum was a pirate, sat yeah. eating her breakfast. I was thinking, blimey, that, that's going to be that's gonna be a tricky one, isn't it? And then I saw uh, that my dog, Poppy, Yorkshire Terrier, uh, she dressed up as a chimp. And in the night, uh, she'd given birth to a hundred puppies that were also dressed as chimps. Now, that was from this fancy dress party. It was absolutely crazy. And then the doorbell rang, which was actually the postman, and he was dressed as a chicken, which was... Absolutely crazy and out of this world. So she was still trying to buy a trouser, so she was trying to get out of the door, but it just wasn't working. And then she went into the car and Mark Blackman was sat in the passenger seat. Now, I don't know how he got there. He must have been in the party as well and just slept in the car overnight or something like that. And she was on her way to Tesco until a massive pile of jelly ended up in the road. So she wasn't able to get her trousers in the end. And that was Sophie's Sunday morning. Cheshire Silk 106.9